In today's video, we are going to take a look at what's inside the world's biggest passenger plane. We will take a look inside of the aircraft, what makes this plane different from the rest, how does it work, and what it's like to have the most expensive seat on the plane. So, sit back, relax and enjoy. Let me introduce you to the Airbus A380. With 73 meters of length, and with an 80 meter wingspan it makes the world largest passenger plane of all time. This is indeed a revolutionary aircraft. With an average speed of over 700 miles per hour, this aircraft takes your flight experience to the next level. So what's inside this enormous aircraft? Stick around to find out. Once you are in, passengers will immediately notice the massive staircases in the middle of the plane towards the front of the aircraft. These stairs are leading to the famous Airbus upper deck. It is something you will never forget. Throughout the cabin in both decks, LED lights provide the passengers an immersive experience with energy-efficient lighting. This can be controlled to mimic different scenes or moods, such as sunrise and sunset. This smart lighting helps passengers prevent fatigue with the changing time zones. Of course, a lot of natural light enters the cabin during the daytime. The plane has larger windows than the smaller commercial planes. The Airbus A380 is 20 inches wider than the second largest aircraft, the Boeing 747. Passengers will notice the difference for sure. The plane will feel roomier within the cabin. The World Traveler class, more known as the Economy class has enough space for 299 passengers. The sitting area is pretty much the same in all 299 seats. All seats feature a USB charging port for your smartphone or tablet. This is very important for longer flights. There are 170 seats split between the remaining classes. This may vary depending on the company. For example, British Airways has one of the largest fleet of Airbus A380 in the world. Their planes have 97 reserve seats for the business class, or what British Airways calls club class. These sections are split within both decks, and they are super comfortable and spacious. In the upper deck, you can find 55 World Traveler seats with a larger screen and premium seats. This class is called Premium Economy. It is the middle ground between the World Traveler class and the Business class. Airliners need to fit as many people as possible in a reasonable price ticket for the flight. The more tickets they sell, the more profit they make. Now, if you want to live the ultimate experience traveling, flying Emirates is the way to go. If you are looking for a one-in-a-lifetime trip maybe the premium economy of flying Emirates is more up your street. Emirates economy seats are 18 inches wide and have a seat pitch up to 34 inches. That's roomy for the economy class. When it comes to Emirates, all their seats are finished in a luxury design leather. All classes receive amenity kits. Emirates recently introduced blankets for economy passengers aboard the A380 that are made entirely from recycled plastic bottles, in addition to economy amenity kits with eye masks, earplugs, a toothbrush, toothpaste, and socks. Emirates business class on the A380 has staggered seats that can be laid flat. The seat pitch in business class is 44 inches, while the seat width ranges from 18.5 to 20.8 inches. One of the most attractive parts of the premium economy seats is that all seats even boast retractable leg rest that emerges from under the seat. These seats are specifically designed for a passenger to fall asleep more easily throughout long flights. Electrical window shades make the plane the most luxurious commercial aircraft. But wait, that's just the beginning. Some of the aircraft have a waterfall sitting at the top of the staircase. This definitely looks like a piece of modern art. We are not kidding, this is a real functional waterfall, with real water on an airplane traveling at 700 miles per hour at an altitude of 40,000 feet. This unique experience, regardless of the flight class you are in, is possible thanks to a team of 22 cabin crew, who on long-haul flights work in rotations so that they can have some rest just like all the passengers. But wait! Where does the cabin crew rest? Well, there is a secret lower deck beneath the main deck where the cabin crew has a living area and a resting area. It is by no means as big or as luxurious as upstairs, 
but a selection of bunk beds provide some sort of privacy for all the crew to rest. Headspace is pretty limited for the crew. But, what about the pilots? The pilots need to rest as well, they have access to a private resting area just from the main cockpit. They can enjoy more headspace and larger beds. Pilots of the Airbus A380 are required to rest during long flights. They need to be straight as an arrow to fly the enormous plane. Pilots must be trained on ground handling specific to the A380 thanks to its massive size. Landing a plane is just as challenging as maneuvering the plane. If you have been inside this plane, you can remember that there are several cameras around the aircraft. While we enjoy looking through the cameras as a matter of entertainment, the pilots use the built-in cameras to guide the plane. The ground-facing camera helps the pilots locate the nose and guide the plane to keep it on track. Pilots are also trained to safely fly the aircraft, which is challenging for most pilots. The plane can weigh up to 570 tons at takeoff. Just to put you in perspective, a family car weighs on average 2 tons. Both wings weigh 80 tons, the equivalent to 20 family cars. The aircraft can carry up to 250 tons of fuel. The lower engine speed makes the plan quieter than its competition, making the flying experience even better. The landing gear consists of 22 ginormous wheels which can only support 390 tons upon landing, which makes the plane burn at least 180 tons of fuel in order to have a safe landing. Thanks to its size, this airplane can be super luxurious and technological advance due to all the space available in the aircraft. Moving more passengers in one flying means, less fuel burned, and less congested aerial space. So, what if you have $40,000 laying around? Would you spend $40,000 on a round trip from New York to Abu Dhabi with your couple? Before you answer, let us walk you through the ultimate flighting experience. You are going to be traveling with Etihad Airways. The whole experience starts off at your home or at your favorite five-star hotel. From here, your personal Etihad chauffeur will transport you to the airport in a luxury Mercedes S-Class car. Once you arrive at the airport, a private concierge will guide you through the process of check-in. After that, you will be escorted to your private lounge where the first meal will be served based on your personal preferences. Once it is time to board the plane, you will be the first to enter. The lucky passenger or passengers will then likely move on to the spa facilities for a short relaxing massage to help relieve tension before the long flight. You will have a personal butler inside the aircraft. He will have prepared your room with some of your favorite entertainment or maybe food to enjoy the course of the flight. The residence cabin consists of three rooms for the exclusive use of top paying guests. One of the rooms the guest will likely rest is in the lounge area. They will watch some television, enjoy their food from a customized menu, or simply enjoy the unlimited Wi-Fi for the whole trip. The food menu is personalized based on what the guests love. The menu has many courses, and it is designed by a personal chef. One of the rooms inside the residence has a full-size double bed and a second television. As the flight draws to an end, it is the perfect opportunity to take a shower in your very own private bathroom area. No other plane has a dedicated shower. This is as high as you can get. It is a shame that this experience only lasts 13 hours from beginning to end. There are so many facilities on board to explore and so many opportunities to enjoy good food and drinks. Once the flight lands, your luggage will be waiting for you in a special room. Just like before, you have an Etihad chauffeur waiting for you in a private parking lot. He is in charge of taking you to your final destination. Have you ever flown in the world's largest passenger plane? Let us know down in the comments. Do not forget to subscribe to the channel and turn on your notification. Thanks for watching. We will see you in the next videos.